welcome everybody. I think I'm not sideways anymore. I was playing with my phone. I've been like testing it all week long, trying to make sure that I'm not gonna have a problem. So let me know. Like I said, I think I think I'm the right way, but if I'm not, actually I feel like it's like a little bit funny angle. So I'm gonna move it maybe just a little bit and see what we think of that. So let me know what you guys think. Um, hey Peggy, how are you? Am I sideways? Will you let me know? Type in and let me know if I'm if I'm Last week I was sideways and I basically freaked out because I had downloaded, no, what did I do? Upgraded my Facebook app or something and it wouldn't go live for like the first little while. So I was super late getting on and then by the time I got on, it was sideways. I was like, okay, we're just leaving it. So I apologize. I oh, panicked basically. <laughs> so anyway, I hope everything is good today. Um, hopefully we're not sideways today and hopefully everybody had a great week. Oh my gosh. Summer, don't you guys, I just love summer. I don't want it to end. It's August and it always makes me worry that like, yeah, summer's gonna be ending soon. Uh, but fall is good too, right? I love football. Um, so yeah, there's always lots of good football to watch in the fall and love um, the feeling of fall too. R winter, I could kind of skip, maybe a little bit around Christmas, but that's about it. <laughs> so um, let's see, if you are um, watching, please say hello. I love to hear from people, although I feel like I'm not seeing like, any comments? Hopefully um, that is working. I don't know. These new, whenever they upgrade things, right? That was my problem. The Facebook app, I hadn't upgraded or updated or whatever in a long time. So um, yeah, it's kind of weird. I'm not seeing, um, I don't know if there's a, what if I hit the button that looks like it's a comment? Does that? Nope, that's me writing a comment. Okay, so sorry, I'm like touching the screen because I don't want to do that. But okay, hey Vina, there you are. Okay, so now let's see, we've got a couple of eyeballs there. Um, yeah, uh, well, hi Vina, yay, I'm glad you can join me. So hopefully you had a great week. Um, oh, I guess I was starting to say, if you're watching either, obviously on the live, if you're watching, I'd love for people to say hello on the live. There you go, okay, there, now I've got some comments. Hey Vina. Um, but if you watch later too, either on Facebook, either, either here on the group or on the business page, or if you watch on YouTube, I love to hear from you. Hey, Philomena, good. Okay, everybody's hopping on now. Um, yeah, it's just so fun to kind of hear um, who's watching and I, I love to hear from you guys. So please give me a quick shout out and say hello whenever you watch. If it's now or if it's later, I love to hear from you guys. So thank you for doing that. Um, and what else we have? Oh, <laughs> okay. So I think we're safe right now, but it wasn't last night, but it was the night before there was a bat in our house. It was like 10 o'clock at night and all of a sudden, and this is like a hundred year old house, so they get in somehow. I have yet to figure out how they do that. Thank you for sharing, Philomena. Uh, but yeah, I freaked out. I was like, like I said, it was about 10 o'clock at night. I literally like worked all day long and I was super excited to like sit down and put my feet up and read for a few minutes. And then there was this like black shadow. And I know as soon as like I see that or feel it almost, I, I'm like, oh, there's a bat. Oh my God. So I screamed. I was near like the back of the house. So I was able to get out into the back mudroom and close the door. So I knew I was safe, but I left my phone in here. And fortunately the kids were both over at their dad's house at that point. So everybody, like there was nobody in the house, but I was like, okay, great. So there's a bat in the house. I don't have my phone, so I don't have any way to call anybody. So my sister lives right around the corner. So I ran around the corner to her house and I used her phone and called for backup. I called for help. And let's see, so my daughter, Lily, my son, Cade, his next door neighbor friend, Brandon, and then my ex-husband, Heath, all came over with <laughs> with um, tennis rackets. And the guys all marched in the house. Lily and I stood outside and like waited to see what would happen. And they went all through the house. And this is not a big house, but seriously, they, they looked everywhere. They could not find that stinking bat anywhere. So they took like forever kind of going through. They're all ready. They're like all manly men gonna get that bat and then they couldn't find it. So I was like, okay, I'm not staying here tonight. <clears throat> so I was gonna pack up a few things and go stay at my sister's house. And I was like, okay, I need backup to come in with me. So as soon as we all came back in for me to like pack up a few things, then the bat came out again. So Lily and I ran screaming out of the house and then the guys all like chased it all around. You could hear them like screaming and hooting and hollering and stuff too. And then um, it was actually Brandon, the next door neighbor friend of Cade's, that I guess he was in like the bathroom upstairs and he was the only one in there. The other two guys were too scared, I think, to be in there. <laughs> He's just whacking like, you know, with the tennis racket and he nailed the bat. So 
can kill the bat basically I would love like my idea is just like open the door and let the bat fly out but it was it wasn't happening like that that night so sometimes it has but so I had to call the bat guy so now I've got to have him come and like figure out how did that bat get in and you know the thought of it because then last night at like 9 9 30 I'm preparing. I've got like my tennis rackets. I've got my escape route plan. <laughs> like, if there's a bat in here, I'm gonna. I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna get out as quickly as possible. I had shoes at either end of the house, so I could run out either door. The one thing I, I don't know if I had my phone. I had to make sure I had my phone. But anyway, craziness. So sorry for going on and on about that. I thought I'd just like share that while we're waiting for a few people to hop on. So, but yeah, I hate bats. Oh my gosh, they're just so dark and scary and they fly so erratically all over the place too like I'm always afraid they're like gonna like run into you or something so yikes <clears throat> so let's see get back to business here I've got some notes um, make sure you guys you guys all know this right if you got your bonus day coupons in July make sure you use them you have the whole month of August to use them but you know don't forget don't wait till the last minute hey Julie how are you doing um, so yeah, make sure you use your bonus day coupons. And then the other thing, that starter kit deal is going on. And I'm basically telling you now at this point, just do it. Just get that starter kit. There is a link if you go to Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. You go to my website. There's a link up at the top that says... Um, become an inspired stamper click on that it takes you right to um, the link to be able to get the starter kit you can order it right online basically you pick 155 dollars in product um, you can't go a penny over though so get as close to 155 dollars as you can without going over um, you pay uh, sales tax but no shipping that's 10 percent shipping fee is waived also hey nikki how are you doing um, so it's an awesome deal. There's like literally no reason not to get that starter kit deal because then you can get that holiday catalog product even yet this month. I've been pre-ordering stuff out of the holiday catalog as a demonstrator. Once you get the starter kit, you're a demonstrator and you can order, maybe your first order you put in, you can pre-order out of that holiday catalog and get 20% off of all of your orders. So, and I'd love for you to be an expired stamper too. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I'd love to help you out if you need help. The link is super simple, but if that's not your thing and you want me to help you do it, I'm happy to do that too. So let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to get you signed up and get you that awesome deal. So we only have what, a couple more weeks in August, right? Although we're not wishing August away. Um, oh, the other thing too I wanted to let you guys know about. We just had an announcement on the Stampin' Up! website this week that the Purple Posy ink pad is going to happen so for a little while there I got concerned because they had kind of said I think when we were on the cruise you know that they had tried like a few tests of it and it the quality wasn't there and they had kind of said oh, you know maybe we won't be able to get it but they said they've got it so now they're working with the manufacturer to get um, all the ink pads and the ink refills like made so they said basically they'll give us another update in September so we won't be able to order it yet in August but that's good news because at first like I said I thought Thought maybe we wouldn't ever have a purple posy ink pad so we will have it it's just taking a little bit longer than anyone had hoped especially anyone at Stampin Up had hoped I'm absolutely sure so anyway but that's good news so soon enough I will as soon as we know that we can buy the purple posy ink pad I will let you guys know that too so good news on that front um okay let's go ahead and do our drawing for I love you guys can see these right hey Nikki we're not backwards or sideways anymore are we no one has commented saying that we are so I think that we're good and I feel like there was something about the orientation last week that told me something wasn't right and then you guys were obviously telling me too but anyway let me know that we're like okay this week because I think we are um okay but these are the flower faceted gems I love those little babies because they're really like kind of substantial too I, I've used them on scrapbook pages you definitely would need to cover them or add some additional postage if you're going to mail a card with these but it's not impossible thank you Philomena I'm glad we are good Okay, <laughs> I, I, it like just, I think there was something with the upgrade of my app last week that just wouldn't let me like write it, you know, it just, so anyway, I, I tried all week long. I kept testing and testing to make sure that we were going to be good. So I thought we were good, but I'm glad to hear it too. So, okay. So back to, this is what we're going to give away. I love the little yellow blue. I think it's like mint macaron though. Uh, maybe crushed curry mint macaron and maybe terracotta tile. I don't know. Yellow, blue, and orange is what I say, but they're really pretty. You can kind of see them sparkling there. So as usual, 
You get one entry into the drawing for commenting on Facebook Live anytime between now and next Thursday. Comments on YouTube count also, so make sure you do your commenting. If you share the video, I'd love for you to share. I'm really hoping to kind of reach more people with what we're doing here, so I really, really, really appreciate your shares and helping me find some new people to kind of share this with. So you get three entries. Just make sure you make a comment when you um, share, right? When you um, share the video, comment so that you can get your three entries in the drawing. This is good on the um, Facebook group and the business page. Either place you comment and share, I check all of those places, okay? Then um, if you're new to me and you haven't signed up for my email list, you get three entries. And oh, and then if you tag a friend too, you also get three entries into the drawing. So lots of awesome ways to get into the drawing. The last way is my um, random draw day and I wanted to look to make sure. Yeah, I drew Thursday, so just yesterday. Any post that I made yesterday on Thursday, or if you posted, comments and shares of those posts got three entries. So, so many good ways to get your name in the drawing. And I love, I love going through your comments. I love peeking at your shares. Um, I just, I love all the participation. So thank you guys for doing that. So, okay, here we go. Lots of entries. Make sure I have just one. I feel like they're all bunched up. I'm trying to kind of put them in there, but somehow, isn't that funny? They all get kind of bunched up. Okay, so I've got one in my hand. <laughs> Miss Mary Ann, you are the lucky winner. I think you won last week too. That is too funny. Well, Mary Ann, I will get your flower faceted gem sent out to you. Congratulations. That's awesome. You probably ought to go buy the lotto ticket now. Uh, it's funny because this is like a total off like side note, side note. but in my other um, job, I'm an accountant also. And we have um, and I do that for a couple of companies and in the one company we have had I think three different audits come up in the past couple of months and our CPA firm told the owner of the company she's like you probably ought to go buy a lottery ticket also because the chances of like having three different audits come up on your business all within like a pretty short period of time are kind of crazy so we're not feeling very lucky because actually i used to be an auditor too so i know how not loved auditors are uh but <laughs> yeah it's you know it's a lot of extra work getting ready for those audits so anyway but yeah so marianne just like our owner at uh the plastics company who should be going to buy his lottery ticket i think you ought to be buying your lottery ticket too so okay so this week what are we giving away where is it here it is the denim, oh, I should have opened this. I have one that's open. I'm gonna go grab it real quick. One sec, be right back. Hold on. Okay, ooh, 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 here I come. Such a pretty day out, oh my gosh, love. It's not too hot either. Like I'm not, <laughs> that first week when we came back and I was like literally like, I had the sheen of, <laughs> of heat. Okay, so, all right. Oh, this is it, the um, denim. Oh, Mar or, uh, Philomena, you're very sweet to congratulate Miss Marianne. You guys both had lots of entries in the drawing too. Um, okay, so this is it, the denim ribbon. This is what we're gonna give away. I included this actually in last month's, those Dino Roar class to go kits. It was a fun um, ribbon to use on those projects. So just kind of a nice, can you guys see? Look at the kind of the denim. It, it really does look like denim. So very cool. So that's what we'll give away, right? Next week. So comment, share, make sure you put a comment on your share. Tag friends, sign up for my email list, post pictures on our Facebook group and our business page, and you could uh, win the denim ribbon, ribbon next week. Sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Talking too quickly as usual, right? Okay, let me scoot that out of the way. Um, so, you know what? We, I really wanted to give away that embossing folder this week, but I didn't have any online orders, so I don't have, I don't get to draw. I love, you guys have no idea how much fun I have drawing <laughs> these names too. So hopefully next week we will have some online orders. And if that is the case, uh, you will get your name in the drawing. So online orders, right, when you use the host code, I should back that up because I need for everybody to make sure, if, especially if you're new watching Facebook Live, you always get the two projects that I demonstrate later on Facebook Live. When you put an order in of at least $30 online and use the host code, 
I'm gonna give you that host code in a little bit and it's always at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com, okay? So, and then your name is gonna go in the drawing to win. This is the brick and mortar 3D embossing folder. So another awesome embossing folder. This is one I thought would be really cool because it kind of looks like a brick wall, right? If you use our embossing paste and you know how you're gonna emboss, um, your cardstock and then it'll be kind of bumpy where some, the bricks are raised. You could kind of lightly like paint over with some of our embossing paste to really make it like look like a painted brick, which would be very, very cool. So anyway, this is what you'll get your name in the drawing next week to win along with for sure getting the two projects that I'm gonna demonstrate. And then if you bump your order up to at least $50, you always get a free embellishment from me. Um, so yeah, lots of great incentives to order. So I would love for you to pick me as your demonstrator when you shop online. You, if you use the host code, that automatically selects me as your demonstrator and I truly appreciate that. So thank you. I would, I would really appreciate um, yeah, you ordering through me. So thank you guys for that. Um, Okay, so the other thing I want to show you guys is, and I just posted it yesterday, is the bird ballad class to go. I had a couple of people ask me over the past like month or so um, if I was going to be doing um, a to-go kit on the bird ballad suite. And I was, originally I thought, you know, I that's been super popular. Um, so I think a lot of people already have a lot of the product in there. But I thought, you know, what the heck, I have not played with that as much as it... <laughs> Isn't that awful? Like, I love to play with this stuff too. So it was really fun for me to pull all of that product back out kind of one more time and be able to play with the stamps and the dies and the, um, uh, the paper and all the fun embellishments. So I wanna show you guys what I am offering in this Bird Ballad class to go. And I'm gonna go through it quickly. The details are all on my YouTube video and on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. So lots of good ways you can um, get more details on there. And if you're on my email list, I just emailed about it too. But we've got, I always do this, four projects. You can see them right there, just little peaks, right? So, and you get um, parts and pieces to make two of each of these. Hey Sandra, how are you doing? Um, so yeah, parts and pieces to make two of each of these. There are always, well, not always, right? <laughs> you have a note from your mom that's too cute. I'm glad. It'll be okay. We'll, we'll excuse your tardiness this time, Miss Sandra. That's funny. Uh, okay, so what was I saying? Um, a few different options for your class to go. I'm going to show you the cards real quick, and then I'll tell you about the options. So this is one of the cards that we are going to make, and you'll make actually two of those. So it's kind of always fun. Like You can make one and send one, and you can make one and keep it for yourself if you love to keep your cards. This is the other one, and you can see like I used a lot of fun detail with the ribbon and those bird bags ballad embellishments. Um, the ribbon is included in the to-go kits and those those little, the bird ballad, I think they're called trinkets actually. And this is kind of fun. Um, do you see, I did that just on the inside, but then I didn't want to cut, so we covered up. So it's still like a nice substantial card there too. And then this one, I love this one too. So two of each of these, right? Okay, so those four cards, the different options, we've got option number one includes your free as a bird stamp set, your, uh, these are called the stitched nested labels dies. I'm sorry, there's one pulled out. Um, I know, well, so Philomena, the colors that I chose are basically all the colors from that designer series paper. I have loved, I think I showed you guys a few weeks ago, those kind of sampler things that I did with all the little squares. You might have even gotten one, Philomena, I'm thinking. But then basically it tells you all the colors that coordinate because we made little circle punches with all the cardstock colors and then like a little grid of all of the designer series paper. So yeah, it's because I think everyone is so drawn to the colors the color palette in that Bird Ballad Designer Series paper, and that's just what I went with with um, the cards as well. So, um, okay, so back to what I was saying with option number one, you get that stamp set, you get this set of framelits, and I have to tell you guys, so I bought a bunch of this black um, magnetic stuff. They're like vent covers, I think, you know, that you could put on your vents at home. So Lily, this was her project this week, she cut up a whole bunch of these pieces and laid them all in there. Um, so what she did was, um, 
yeah, she cut them to fit like the, the white piece that, that they came with that they were stuck onto. And then she used tear and tape to kind of adhere the black to that white piece. And then these things all just sit on there so nicely. So I had to give Lily the shout out too, because this is something like, you know how you get things on your list and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then it just keeps moving forward on your list and never actually happens until you have a Lily in your life who has summer vacation and she loves to like do projects. So she did all of my dyes for me, which was awesome. Hey, Roseanne, how are you? So, okay, so yes, back to option one. Sorry, I'm like going on and on. So stamp set, dyes. Um, let's see, you also get a full pack of pearls because we used a bunch of pearls, if you can see those. The vanilla lace trim, and we you saw that on a bunch of the cards too. And then the bird ballad trinkets. So I think you get like 24 of them. <laughs> I know, good job, Lily, right, Philomena? Yeah, so they're so cute. We used them all. I'll show you guys real quick. So there is the little key on that one, a super tiny little um, uh, uh, bow. I was thinking flower, but that's not right. The leaves, we used a couple of leaves on that one. And then the flower, and they're all kind of like an antique -y kind of washed, bronzy, metallic-y look. So super cool. So you get a bunch of those in there as well. And then you always get all the parts and pieces to make all of the two of each of the cards, plus the PDF tutorial, so that you can know like how my brain worked, how I put the card together in like step-by-step -step order. And then also, if you wanna make more of them, I give you measurements and colors and everything so you can do, you can make as many as you'd like. And I should say too, if you're a demonstrator and looking for a class, this would be a great class to run as well. Sorry, <laughs> Leo just like came out from around the corner and I had that, you know how like now that you've had a bat in your house, every time there's some weird movement, you're like, ah, it's a bat, but it's not a bat, it's just Leo, so everything's good. Um, but yeah, I was saying, if you're a demonstrator, you can get any of these to-go kit options also and run your own class with it. So it's a great way to like not have to use your brain to like come up with projects. You can use mine in your class if you'd like to. So, okay, so option number one was $87 for all of that stuff. Option number two is everything except the dies. Maybe you already have the dies. So option number two is $59. Option number three is if you already have the stamp set and the dies, you are basically gonna get the embellishments. You're gonna get the pearls and the ribbon and the bird ballad trinkets and then all the parts and pieces to make your cards, plus the PDF tutorial that option number three is $41. And you can always make substitutions because that was another thing I was thinking probably a lot of people, hey Diana, how are you? Already have um, this free as a bird stamp set. So if you do and you still wanna get option number one because maybe you don't have the dies, we'll just substitute, make a substitution for something else that you've already, um, that you'd like instead of the free as a bird stamp set. So you can make substitutions on any of those. Um, but make sure with option number three, you, you have to have the stamp set because you have to do your own stamping. So just make sure that you have that free as a bird stamp set if you pick option number three, okay? So options number one, two, and three, if you pick studio pickup, the shipping fee is waived because you're just gonna come pick it up down at the studio. If you need it shipped to you if you're not local, it's an additional $8 for the priority mail shipping to get that sent out to you. Then option number four is if you just want the PDF tutorial I'll tell you step-by-step step how to put everything together, that's always $15 always available like a year from now it'll still be available so if you're wanting things later or if you saw like a class to go kit that i offered a few months ago and you weren't able to get it then you can still get the pdf tutorial if you have say the stamp set and um so yeah so just so you know that and then option number five once you get that starter kit you're an inspired stamper and then you can get the make and takes for just twelve dollars you get all the parts and pieces to make those cute cards you get your own stamp set on your own because then you can get your discount um, so let me know if you guys have any questions. A couple weeks um, from now, RSVP will be due. What do I have? Friday, August 23rd. So actually two weeks from today. Um, so you got a couple weeks if you need to think about it, get your pocketbook together. And then I'll ship those kits out by September 4th at the very latest. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Because these, I just love the birdies. I'm going to show you guys one more time because I just think they are so pretty. Oh my gosh. I don't know, hopefully there's not too much of a glare there, right? So two of each of these babies could be in your hot little hands very soon. Okay, so I think, let me make sure 
But yeah, oh, just one more quick reminder. Next week is our uh, The Simple Beautiful Card Class at the Stamp Studio. So if you're local to me, come hang out with me and make some cards. We've got Wednesday night, which is August 14th, is from 6 until 8.30. And then Friday afternoon, which is the 14th of August it would be, from 1 until 3. We're going to make four awesome cards. We always make four amazing cards with, we. I keep saying new annual catalog because I feel like you know, we haven't had it for too long yet, right? So it's all, the product still feels really new to me. Um, so yeah, we're gonna play with a lot some more fun stuff. So come hang out, play with my stuff, decide what you think you might need for yourself. Um, yeah, so, okay, I think we're ready. I'm trying to make sure I pulled. It's funny, so Nikki, you said that crafter math after I showed the picture of my table. It's funny because as I looked at it later, I'm like, maybe it didn't look too bad. But as it's happening and right at the end of it, when I'm trying to find something to show you guys and it's buried in all the stuff, um, yeah, it is crafter math. I thought that was so funny. I'm like, I want to remember that word because I think, yep, crafter math. That is the aftermath of all the crafting in front of you guys. That's what my table looked like. So, okay. All right. So turn your heads away for a sec. I am going to flip the camera down. Okay. And we will do some stamping. All right, bear with me just a sec. Hopefully I don't push any of the wrong buttons. Okay. All right, where's the flip? Okay, good, there we are. Let's move over. Okay, I think we got a good angle there, right? Okie dokie. So here is our host code for this month. Let me get that into Good view there, right? Okay, so the 9ZCA6ZT3. Uh, oh yeah, Dina Rico, yes. That sounds like she's very clever. I can totally hear her saying something like that, crafter math, I love that. <laughs> and thank you for sharing that, Nikki. I was like, I wrote that down literally. I'm like, oh, I have to remember that word because I thought it was so cute. So yeah, she's hilarious, totally hilarious. Uh, okay, so yeah, back to host code, right? If you put your online order in of at least $30, by next Wednesday, you're gonna get the projects that we're gonna demonstrate in just a moment, and your name goes in the drawing to win in that brick and mortar embossing folder, okay? Um, and then if you bump your order up to $50, you also get a free embellishment. So always lots of good stuff. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, I think we're ready. Yep, I was trying to decide which card do I wanna show you guys first, but we are gonna do this one. So I have some other things to show you. No, actually, let's do, we're gonna do, since we're kind of been just been talking about the bird ballad suite i thought okay i have to do one more card and i have been wanting to use that crushed curry sinkle sinkled crinkled seam binding ribbon it's been on i have this little system where the things that i really want to use i like put right on my craft table and i keep looking at them kind of waiting for some inspiration to strike me and to remind myself that, yeah, I want to make sure to use those. So this ribbon has been sitting on my craft table for a long time, and I finally was like, okay, this is what we're doing. So this is the first card that we're going to make, and the kind of fun thing is it really, it only uses, it really features that Bird Ballad Designer Series paper. So you can see the really kind of soft, muted polka dot paper, and then those beautiful birdies, right? And then the ribbon for me, um, and this, you know, this can like, you can just like crinkle that right up. It can go in the mail, it's no big deal. And what's fun is it'll like pop right back out when you're done. Oh, you got your ribbon, yay, Sandra. Yeah, it's funny, because I give a lot of this stuff away and I'm like, I really even haven't had a chance to play with it. Like for example, giving this embossing folder away and I really wanted to have a project to show you guys and I don't even have one yet because I haven't had a chance to play with it. So there's probably some great project ideas um, in the catalog. I just didn't get a chance to get to those either to show you them. But this is this is going to be an awesome embossing folder, especially when you think of like holiday time too. Like I can see, you know, like a cute little fireplace scene um, holiday time, you know, with that brick brick and mortar embossing folder, right? So good, I'm glad you like the ribbon. I loved it, that was why I picked it. Um, as always, my favorite things are what I picked to give to you guys too, so just so you know that. So, okay, enough blah, 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 blahing, right? Let's um, go ahead and start crafting. Oh, the other thing though that I wanted to tell you guys too was this paper is so awesome, right? So there's very little stamping, 
And that's what I really love about that bird ballad designer series paper. You can see I just basically was like super tricky, right? And just die cut straight off of the um, bird ballad designer series paper. There's no coloring or stamping involved. So if you love to do that, that's great. And we did definitely do some of that on the class to go. But this is another like awesome trick. Just cut your designer series paper and use it almost as if um, you colored it and stamped it yourself, right? So, okay. Um, let's see. You could also cut with your paper snips too, like if you just wanted the birdies. Because it was funny, I was looking in the catalog at some of the projects and trying to, like, some of the birds that are on the cards. I'm like, there's no stamp for that. And then I realized, you know what, they just probably snipped, like, with their paper snips or even, like, around some of those flowers and things too. So, yeah, you can just start cutting up your paper and have lots and lots of things to play with there. Okay, so we're going to move that out of the way a little bit. So I'm going to give you dimensions. We started with, this is our thick Whisper White cardstock, which has somehow become my absolute favorite card base. Um, yeah, okay, so eight and a half by 11. Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? So yes, love this thick white cardstock for a card base, okay? Then we have a piece of, this is soft suede cardstock that measures four and one eighth by five and three eighth inches, okay? And then our pretty bird ballad designer series paper, right? Yes, I know we all love there. Look at the birdies, right? So see, you could um, die cut like a circle or an overall of those pretty birdies, or you could just like use your paper snips and cut all around and get as much of that detail as you want. So awesome, love, love this paper. And it's funny, cause you know, everybody was like super excited about it when it first came out. And it had to, it took a little while to grow on me, but now, now I absolutely love, I think it's all the soft, pretty colors too. Sometimes I'm in more of like a bright, bold mood and this is not so bright and bold, right? So, hey Shirley, how are you doing? I hope everything's good with you. Uh, okay, so this piece measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And you can see with that eighth inch, how it just kind of peeks out a little bit behind there. So we can actually go ahead and, I don't normally put it together. No, let's not do that. I was gonna say we could put it together, but let's do our die cutting. These are just a couple of scrap pieces of soft suede cardstock and um, then the Bird Ballad Designer Series paper to, to cut our oval pieces out right here. We're gonna do those. The other thing we might as well do is stamp our hello because then we can die cut that. Cute, you guys have to show you. Can you see? It's a little bit covered up. But the stitching on there, I'll show you where that came from with just a couple of little pearls there too. So, okay, I, anything that has stitching, like, oh my gosh, those, that's what you gotta get first on your list, basically, is how I feel about that. I love all of our little stitched pieces. Okay, so let's see, we gotta do our stamping. Oh, and actually, where did that stamp come from, right? I'm being super tricky with this too. This stamp, the hello, actually came from our Good Morning Magnolia, which is another fan, a uh, huge favorite of mine too, that beautiful flower, right? And it's not as intimidating as you'd think either when you're going to color it. Well, uh, we're actually putting that on a scrapbook page um, later this month. Hey, Denise, how are you doing? Um, yeah, so it's, it really wasn't as, because I was like, wow, that's a really big image to color, but it doesn't take very long at all. Um, and it's just beautiful when you color it. But So we also have that thanks and the hello, and I wanted to use that cute little hello. And then you guys have seen these, right? I, I know I used this on another, I can't remember. I've been using a lot of the same things because I just love all of those stamps that we've gotten, right? So we've got that not only for what you do, but for being someone so special. So you do that thanks first, right? Then you've got enjoy today. The journey of life is best shared with a friend. We'll get through this together. That one's really nice too, right? And then the thinking of you and then this really pretty scroll and then the flower. So awesome stamp set. If you don't have this one yet, you can see a lot of great sentiments in here too. Very good investment. Um, so yeah, we are using the little hello stamp with our soft suede ink. So you can see this one's, I have not used, I got, um, ooh, it's been a while now, right? But I got new, boy, that's super tight. So since we only have to stamp, don't ever do this, but I'm gonna because I was struggling with opening that and we just need one little stamp right on here and that's it. You really want to make sure to slide that in. If you do that, you can see I'm pressing really, really lightly because you don't want to like break that thing off, right? So there we go. We're gonna just close that one right back up. That's all we needed from that. 
okay? Now, the dies. What die did I use to cut that little stitching out, right? So these are our perfect parcel dies. This is another awesome set of dies if you do not have this one yet. So this is the one, I don't even know if I've shown you guys, but this makes a box. I wonder if I showed you that. I made, so the little boxes, if you flip to whatever page these are on in the catalog with um, the coordinating stamp set that I'm totally drawing a blank on. Um... Yeah, I can't think of what it is. Anyway, there are some cute boxes that are in there and the boxes are made with this die right here. So again, you can see Lily's handiwork, right, with my um, black magnetic. So she did that one. And then, so here, let me go this way, right? These are all of the dies that come in this set. Um, she forgot to poke all those little pieces out for me, didn't she? <laughs> I'll have to have her do that later, maybe. Okay, but do you see? Isn't this awesome? I'm loving because, you know, it didn't look so organized when things were just like falling all over the place, right? But so this is the little die with that stitching that we're going to use. And I love this little label also. Lots and lots of good dies in here. So a great value, right? You get a bunch of different dies in. Now I covered it up. Where's the name? <laughs> it's on this one right here. The Perfect Parcels Dies. And you guys know this, right? Um, give me a little bit, but always in the afternoon after I do the Facebook Live, I upload the video to YouTube and I give you um, all, uh, actually it's on my blog too, really. Um, if you go to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, I give you all of the item codes. So I'll give you the Perfect Parcels Dies and that little item number, the 149627. I give you all of those details so that it's quick and easy shopping for you too, um, to be able to get the things that you want, maybe to make these projects. Okay, so <clears throat> let me grab the big shot and we will do some die cutting. Or my die cutting machine, that's right, we're not really supposed to call it a big shot anymore because we're not selling the big shot, right? We're going to sell a die cutting machine very soon. I'm sure that's going to be coming very soon. Okay, so we've got our hello. We're gonna try that one. That's gonna be futzy for me. And then these pieces, I'm gonna try to get right on here too. Okay, let's move this over. <clears throat> See if we can get it to cooperate. Maybe, maybe not. That looks pretty good. Okay, and then I also used my layering oval dies. Again, look at how organized I am. And I actually, on the back side, I put the two in that we need. So we're gonna flip those out. And these are, just so you know, this is gonna be the largest scallop edge. And that one came from there. So this is the second largest straight edge, okay? On those ovals dies. Okay, so we're gonna put this one on here and I need to get this one kind of centered nicely enough too. So that looks good there. Okay, so good, we can cut all of these out at once. So I've got my magnetic platform, the one, oops, clear cutting pad underneath, then my paper, the framelit or die with the edge, the cutting edge down, and then one more clear piece on top. And we've got a big beeping noise outside. Maybe you guys can't hear it. I should just not like mention those things. <laughs> Somebody's backing up somewhere apparently. Okay, to show you that again, right? Yay, I love, look at how cute that is. The little scallopy edge with the stitching on the side too. Super duper cute. Okay, so we're gonna scoot these out of the way. All right, I think we can go ahead and put things together. So let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna add, let me make sure we're still in view. Yep, okay. Look at the birdies. Okay, so we're gonna add some adhesive here. All right. Oh, you guys, the wind is blowing just a little bit. The windows are open. It's just like the perfect summer day. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I appreciate that so much. I think it's because you can only have the windows open, you know, for so many days out of the year. So it's so nice when you're able to do that. Oh, you know what? I did this earlier when I was making this card the other day too. Okay, so forget that I put that adhesive on. I really should have put this ribbon. I think it's gonna be okay. I just had to hold it upright then. You know what I did? So here, this is the trick, right? Cause you don't want, now that I've got adhesive all over the back of that, <laughs> I'm gonna put that ribbon maybe right about there. So of course now, okay, that should be good. I'm trying to make sure that I have enough to make a pretty bow with. But I put that on my scissors so it wouldn't stick 
to my paper. And I really like to turn my paper sideways when I'm making these bows. Somehow, sideways or upside down, kind of depends. And I'm trying to hold in the middle there as I'm kind of, I play with my bows quite a bit to get them the right size, you know, how I want them to look. Let's see if we do that. Okay, that looks good. And then we can kind of just snip that off. Isn't that ribbon awesome? Just so, I love like, ooh, that you can just like crinkle it all up and then it still kind of pops right back open and you want it, you know? That's the nice thing. If you put it in a card, it gets kind of shoved in there, but it doesn't matter because that's how it's supposed to look, right? Okay, so let's actually, I'm gonna pop this. Uh, isn't that funny? I'm looking at it. I think I want the ribbon down a little bit further. So we're gonna do it about right there. Okay, and then, let's see. Can you guys hear that beeping? It is beautiful ribbon, isn't it? I really wish that they would just park whatever they're doing. <laughs> Stop the beeping! <laughs> okay, um, here we go. Now, get all sidetracked. We are gonna put some adhesive on the back of this piece and add our pretty birdies to that little scallop oval. And then we need to put some dimensionals on the back of our oval here. And we are also going to, so I was trying to show you guys this the other day. I wanna put a dimensional on the back of that side only. So we're gonna do that right there. And then I wanna put some adhesive on this side because this piece is gonna kinda of lay on there somewhere. It's funny, my birdies are in a little bit different place. We'll have to decide where we wanna put that once we get it on there, okay? So we're gonna take the backs off of the dimensionals here. <laughs> You thought the beeping was outside your house. Yeah, no, it's outside my house. And this is the stuff of like, I don't know, what can make you like want to go crazy, right? That beeping noise. Okay, seriously, whatever they're doing, right? Like park it. Oh my goodness. Um, where do I want that? We're going to put that right about there, right? <laughs> yes, it can be annoying. Yes, it does sound kind of like a fire alarm. Yes. So you guys can hear it. That's great. <laughs> I could reach around and close those windows, but I keep thinking like, seriously, how much longer can it go on? Like, what are you doing? Gosh, you know what? It's not a fire alarm, right? Now I'm listening, I'm like, is it? No, I really don't think, isn't that funny? My, I don't think my fire alarms sound like that. Here I am like, I have a Facebook Live to do. I can't be worrying about a fire alarm right now. I'm sure it's not. <laughs> but you know I am gonna run upstairs after we're done and just make sure, so, okay. <laughs> oh, funny, all right, I do have to close the windows. Hold on just a sec. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's outside. I feel like it got a little bit more quiet. I've got more windows I could close, but I'm not gonna do that. So anyway, okay, just ignore it. And there is our beautiful hello with the little birdies and that beautiful ribbon, right? Love that one. Okay, so let me show you the next one that we are going to do. Right, if it's not one thing, it's another around here. That's how I'm feeling. On these only on Friday at about noon, right? Okay. Do do do. We make sure I've got everything cleaned off here, right? Okay. So the other one I want to show you guys. <laughs> okay. Bear with me one more sec. Yeah, I'm sure it's outside. I'm just sure of it. Okay. So here's the other. Oh my gosh, okay, so I have to show you both of these and I have to show you all of um, the things that are involved here because I just think this is beautiful. Like, look at these. Aren't these so pretty? So I cased this completely from a gal named Celine Kempton. I love that she does a lot of nice kind of clean, simple work and oops, it looks like my bow. Where did the bow go? I have a bow in there. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys that. Oh, thank goodness. So good. It's not my fire alarm. Philomena, you had me like really worried for a minute there. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's outside. They're done though. Whatever they're doing, they're done. Okay. So back to business here. So, um, yeah, Celine Kempton, this was her card. I actually didn't think I had that foil paper at the time. So I kind of modified and used some of, this is all, um, the noble or pretty peacock. I'm going to look at it in just a sec to show you for sure. But, um, yeah, so I love to send um, congratulations cards to the gals that are in the Inkspired Stampers. So each month, like my top five in sales gals, I send them all a card saying, congratulations, you were in the top five in sales for the month. And this was the card. I actually did, like, instead of this sentiment, hey, Abby, how are you? Because I love this one. Um, the best moments in my life happen with you. But I did this one. I thought, you know, yes, probably that's true also. Um, but I did. there was another one, I think, that said, you did it or something like that. Um, so that's what I actually put on the cards I sent to all the gals in my Inkspired Stampers group. Um, but let me show you because the paper is awesome. I have to show you guys that. If you have not played with it or really used it yet, oh, my goodness. It was one of those that I was completely drawn to, like, when I first saw it in the catalog, it was the thing that like caught my eye originally. Which one do I wanna show you first? We're gonna show you, so this is, let me make sure I have the name right, the Noble Peacock Specialty Designer Series paper, okay? So, let me open these up, because you guys have to see. So there are three different sheets in here. We have them all, right? So this is, now I'm trying to, I don't know if they give me the colors on the back here. Oh, they do. Okay, so I think this is, this is called, they're calling this Old Olive. They're calling this one Pretty Peacock. And they're calling this one Blueberry Bushel. You can see like the glare there too, but isn't, huh? I'm trying to find like the right light for you guys. Kind of right there, kind of not, but isn't it? It's just beautiful. And so I use obviously this one on my card because I didn't think I had that foil paper, right? So I thought, okay, instead of embossing my foil paper, I'll just use some foil paper that already has some detail on it. So that was great. But then let me show you, this is, and again, this is also called, let me make sure, yep, the Noble Peacock Foil Sheets. So I just couldn't remember if it was Noble or Pretty Peacock. So let me open this up so you guys can see the different colors do I have. Oh, I see. I've got the one. I'll show you these two. And I've got this one already all ready to go that we're using on our card. So again, Blueberry Bushel, Old Olive, and Pretty Peacock. Now this one for me looked a lot more like Bermuda Bay. So I actually went with Bermuda Bay ink and on my ribbon there. But I think you could go either way. You could call that Pretty Peacock or you could call it Bermuda Bay. Um, but beautiful. It's funny because this one is, they're saying Old Olive, but I don't know if you remember that color, Lucky Limeade, um, was one of our in colors. I feel like that's a little bit brighter green, a little more like Lucky Limeade from back in the day. So, okay. So uh, the other thing though that, oh, I was so bummed because I loved these little, that perennial essence, the flower center. Now they're on back order, I think until August 19th, but if you don't have these yet and you're putting an order in, go ahead and order them. And then as soon as they come in, they'll ship them to you separately. You don't ever have to pay any additional shipping, which is very nice. Um, so if something's on back order, they send you everything except what's on back order, and then they'll send those later. So I already have another order for a couple packages of those in, cause I love, it's like, they're like pollinated or something. They're just so cool. But that was literally the last one that I had in my package. So I had to improvise and I used one of the gold faceted gems, which is still very pretty, but it doesn't quite have the same impact, I don't think. So, you know, honestly, as soon as these things come in, I'm probably pulling that off and I'm putting, <laughs> I'm putting one of those on because I love those little babies so much. So, okay, let's go ahead and get started making this one now. So I have, let's give you dimensions again. Okay. So you know how I was saying, I've used this thick whisper white cardstock as my base because it's such a, I love how thick it is. Same idea, same tall card along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, right? And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? And then we have that beautiful, pretty peacock or Bermuda Bay, whatever you want to call it, foil paper, four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then the rest are just scrap pieces to do our stamping and die cutting, okay? 
Um, so let's see. We can actually, let's do our die cutting on both of these. We're actually have to do die cutting and embossing, don't we? Okay, I'm going to show you. Let's see what do you, we're set for the die. So let's, let's die cut this baby first. So our stitched nested dies that I, I wanted to show you those with the to-go kit class. Now I'm like, where did I put them? Here we go. Okay, so yeah, the stitched nested labels dies. And this die is the second largest. You can see it would it would fit right on there. Okay, so second largest die is what we're gonna use to die cut that piece right there. Okay. So and a lot of times I tell you to um, stamp and then die cut, but this one I actually want to kind of get things in all the right places after I do the die cutting. Because what I think would probably happen is I would probably put that over too far and I wouldn't be able to fit it in the narrow. So I'm gonna stamp, I'll show you. But in this case, I think it's better to stamp after you do your die cutting. Okay, so there's the die with the little stitches, right? So you can get these dies in that class to go kit if you don't have them already. Kind of kill two birds with one stone, right? Get the dies and get an awesome class of projects that you can make. Okay, so now this time we need just our regular platform. And then I've got my foil paper. And I know I used this last week, but I am in total love with the Scripty 3D embossing folder. I love it, especially in this foil. I never would have thought to do that. So thank you, Celine, for that fabulous idea. Okay, that's a little bit crooked. There's probably a better way to do this. Maybe if we go like that. So you can see there's a little line right along there, right? Okay, so there we go. That looks good. Okay, so we're gonna put that down on there and then we need our new big blue um, 3D embossing plate, I think it's called. And again, I'll give you that item code because that's not in the catalog. That was something that kind of came available, I think after the catalog was released. Okay, so if you need, if you don't have one of these yet for our new 3D embossing folders, I'll give you the item code. Um, just go to my blog later on today at gatheringinspiration.com and all of these item codes will be right there for you for your easy shopping. Oh my goodness, look at that. Isn't that, oh, I love, I love that detail. Okay, so we're gonna scoot this baby out of the way. We are all done with that. All right, let's do our stamping. So we are using, oh my gosh, this, I can't stop using some of these things with the Daisy Lane stamp set. So we're using that piece right there. And then the best moments in my life happen with you. Love it. It's your time to shine. That's another great sentiment too, isn't it? They really did a nice job with the sentiments this time, I think, on a lot of these stamp sets. Okay, so we've got this. Like I said, I'm using my Bermuda Bay ink pad rather than my pretty peacock. Where's my piece? I want to do my stamping on here. Okay, so I've got my Bermuda Bay ink and we are going to get this little baby. Um, we're gonna put him, let's see, maybe right about there, okay? And then, and this is what I was talking about that I thought I would probably stamp this over too far if um, I didn't have this kind of point of reference. So there, the best moments in my life happen with you. Very pretty, right? Actually, you know what else I'm gonna do right now? Because I loved this idea. I was trying to figure out, Celine had this little baby um, uh, ribbon on there. And I was like, how did she do that? So she actually dyed. This is some of our gold edged ribbon. And I'm going to show you. I, had, I have seen it before and I have not tried it yet. But it's so much fun and so easy to do. Okay, so this is the... Yep, the gold metallic edge ribbon. Yep, okay. So you can see it's kind of a vanilla color when you start, right? I actually brought my scrap piece over here to do my coloring. And we just need, oh, maybe about, that's probably even more than we need. We don't need too much. Okay, so then I'm gonna grab, I, this is my handy storage system. I use like the old little cello bags that 
things come in, right? I label it with my Bermuda Bay sticky, and then here's my little sponge dauber. So we are gonna do this, we are going to color. So I'm just kinda tap, 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 and look at how easy that is, whoops. I should just open this up all the way, shouldn't I? These things are so tight still. I'm really gonna just have to sit one night. I'm like, that's another job for Lily, actually, isn't it? I'm just gonna have her sit one night and open and close these ink pads till they, <laughs> till they open and close a little bit easier. Poor kid, she's gonna be ready to go back to school. She said, Mom, are you gonna pay me for all this? I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna take you to Greece. That's how I'm gonna pay you. <laughs> Funny, huh? Okay, so look at how easy this is, right? And maybe what we're gonna do, we're gonna like set this aside, but do you see how? I'm just kind of tapping it in there and then, and it, oh, it colors so easily. Look at that. Huh, isn't that awesome? <laughs> so cool. So you guys, that is just so simple to be able to dye your ribbon. Just have a separate little scratch piece um, that you can work with there because you don't want to get it all over the surface that you're actually making your cards on, right? Okay, so like I said, there's my handy dandy storage system. Okay, so we're going to set that aside just to let it dry a little bit maybe. And what else are we going to do? I know, we got to do some punching. Okay, so we have our daisy punches, the large and the medium daisy punch. And we are going to, and I loved this idea too. I'll show you what I mean in just a sec when we put this together. So we're gonna punch two of those. And then we need one of the medium, okay? So we're gonna punch one of those. So two large, one medium, things are everywhere. Crafter math is happening as we speak. Okay, so you just need something to kind of curl the edges of your flower. So we are gonna, I just have a blender pen here. It was the first thing I could find that was kind of nice um, round like this, right? So we've got that one. We're gonna curl this one. It's easiest to just curl them both, I think, going down. But then the fun thing was that she layered them kind of opposite of each other. So I'll show you what I mean by that in just a sec. Okay, you guys are really, really quiet today. I'm not seeing, it was that fire alarm. It like drove everyone a little bit batty, didn't they? It didn't, and it wasn't, it wasn't the fire alarm. I'm just sure of it. Like I said, there's all this construction. Okay, so we are going to flip this one over. We're gonna add some adhesive right there. So this one I wanna kinda curl up, and then that one I want to curl down so they kinda go opposite ways, right? But we are going to Pop that one. See, do you see how it does that? How they kind of intertwine there? And then I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive right there. And then this one I want to kind of pop up again. We're gonna layer him. Oops, I'm trying to get him in the center. It's hard to, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? You almost can't tell either with all that white. Then I'm just gonna color the center. Again, I've got another little clear baggie with my crushed curry sponge dauber this time probably could have had these open right but i thought oh you guys need to see how organized i am too ha 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 <laughs> okay so we're just going to kind of tap 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 and i just want to add tried to go kind of straight down in the middle there so just a little bit of a daub of our crushed curry ink in the center of that now i want to put a dimensional behind this guy okay so i'm going to do that all right, we can add some adhesive to our foil piece. And this one, I would say you're gonna want a good amount of adhesive on that baby to make sure that this all sticks. And because I have no idea what this says, but that looks like it's the right way. You could probably put it on upside down and maybe not even realize it, possibly until it's too late. Okay, so we're gonna press really firmly to get that all on there well, right? We are gonna peel off, actually no, we're gonna put this one on next, right? So again, you wanna use a good amount of adhesive on this piece because it doesn't tend to stick quite as well. Oh, Julie, good, just paying attention, yes! I love it, you guys are being so, you're being such good students, right? <laughs> okay, so here, let me see, maybe right about there. And you wanna press pretty firmly on here 
so that that all stays in place on that foil, right? Especially once it's embossed. Okay, we're gonna peel that baby off. We are gonna pop that one, maybe right about there. And then where are my little, my gold faceted gems? So I need these guys and I just used, did I use it look like the littlest one there? Yep, hey Tammy, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good summer. Okay, so we're gonna just, oops, that didn't work quite as well. There we go, we're gonna pop him right on there in the middle and then that last little bit of fun, that little, it was just a little strip and you just tie it in a knot and all right, let's see, get that. That looks good there. I try not to pull super hard because I don't want them to be squinched up really tight, if that makes sense. I like to, and you are, you might get a little bit of, so you just kind of wipe that off on your fingers. That's why I did it last, the kind of touching of it, right? So you can see I have a lot of ribbon, a lot of ribbon, <laughs> a lot of ribbon, a lot of ribbon left over. And I was kind of, oops, did that? Maybe that didn't actually pick up my glue dot. Or did it? Where's my, oh, <laughs> there's my glue dot. Okay, that's not where I wanted it. I want it on, how did that happen? Oh, seriously. <laughs> I love the Bermuda Bay too. Okay, that one is not working. So we're just gonna take that one off and put it on there and we're gonna try that again. So usually it's really, really simple to just press down, get your glue dot and we're gonna put it right about there, right? We're gonna pull that a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just gonna trim that one off a little bit and that one off a little bit. Isn't that funny? Why is that being, maybe it's too loose. There we go, I think we got it now. Okay, whew, <laughs> ribbon tying 101. All I did was tie it in a little knot, right? Okay, I think that's it. The serious crafter math as usual around here. Okay, so guys, I hope you enjoyed these cards. Yes, Philomena, or yeah, Philomena, I love this Bermuda Bay also. This, look at, oh my gosh, isn't that just gorgeous? Although I tell you, the only thing that would make it better is if I had one more of those little perennial essence, those centers to put inside there. I think it's beautiful either way, but oh, it would really, that final impact, right? So, okay, guys, let's see. Let's to make sure. Um, yeah, so these are the projects that you will receive. If you put in the online order and use this host code by next Wednesday, right, you're definitely gonna get the projects, your name goes in the drawing to win the brick and mortar embossing folder, and then you always get a free embellishment for me if you bump your order up to uh, $50. Um, oh, let's see, what is Sandra saying? I bet if the ribbon is left overnight, yeah, you're right, you're right, but you know, you can't do that on Facebook Live, right? I guess I could've, I maybe could've done it last night and then just showed you, but, I didn't think about that because I was too worried about the bat coming out. That was my problem. I was like scrambling to try to get everything done so that if I had to run out of the house, I would have everything done before I had to run out of the house. <laughs> so, okay. All right. Thank you guys. I'm so glad that you enjoyed these cards. I know this foil I think is just beautiful with that embossing folder. We're probably going to have to emboss all three of those colors. And originally when I didn't think I had this paper, I was looking at like the gold or the silver or the champagne I think there's a bronze, bron I don't know, there's one more, four different ones. Anyway, I love, yeah, we could just go to town. Maybe with a holiday card, that would be pretty too, to use as, as a background on like the gold or the silver for a holiday card. I bet that would be really good too. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed these projects. Um, like I said, if you're at all inclined, put your online order in, use that host code. I promise I'll send you these cards. You'll get the name and the drawing. Um, lots of other good stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything you uh, want to know about. I'd be happy to answer those questions on the live. So thanks guys. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next Friday. Bye everybody.